in here. Come on, go inside. You won't get hurt. What does it look like? It's an ice cream shop. You've seen this before, I'm pretty sure. What? No, there's nothing going on in- <sighs> I just want ice cream, okay? I like ice cream. Is that a problem? Are fairies not allowed to like ice cream? Good. So let's get some ice cream while we chat. You really overthink too much, you know that? Hi, can I get two scoops of chocolate chip cookie dough and a waffle cone, please? What do you want? Yep, that too. That's it. Here you go. Thanks. Napkins? Ah, got it. Awesome. Thank you so much. Come on, let's sit over here. Okay, sit back, enjoy your ice cream, let's just chill for a sec. Oh, don't worry, things will get busy soon enough. I get some downtime, it goes in cycles. Like everything, really. Right now is a down moment, so right now we eat ice cream. Simple pleasures. Learn to appreciate them. Eh, I'm a cynic, but I'm not a complete shell of a person. I can find things to be happy about. They get fewer and further between these days, but they exist. Cookie dough ice cream is one of those things. I mean, life is never just black and white, but this is definitely up there on the pure good scale. How's yours? Good. I probably should have asked you if you're lactose intolerant or something. You're looking at me like you want to ask a question. What's up? Go ahead, this place is pretty empty. I'm not worried about anyone overhearing. Besides, if they hear us talking about fairy stuff, what'll they think? Your sight wore off, but mine is permanent. I don't see anyone in here who could give us trouble. Go ahead, ask away. Oh right, Merlin. I figured you'd ask me about him at some point. Yes, he existed, and yes, I knew him. What do you want to know about him? He was a pretty complex person. Sure, wise and powerful. Son of an incubus, you know. Demon is a strong word. Humans call a lot of things demon when they don't understand them, especially if they're afraid of them. An incubus is... let's say demon adjacent, like a lot of things behind the veil. Some would say I'm demon adjacent, honestly. Come now, human women have been burned at the stake for showing the slightest bit of intelligence or power. Those things were seen as proof of an allegiance with demons. So what do you think some people would think of me if they knew what I could do? Like I said, gray areas. The world is made almost entirely of them. Gray areas and different perspectives. Everyone sees through their own lens, with their own biases in place. There's very little that's objectively good or bad in this universe. Right, Merlin. He was... Not what you imagine. I'm sure you think of him as some Gandalf-esque figure, gray-bearded and thoughtful, guiding the young king through all the trials and tribulations of ruling a tumultuous kingdom. Or maybe worse, maybe you think of him as a bumbling young apprentice, like on that awful TV show. What was the effects budget for that thing? Ten bucks in a Snickers bar? Sorry, I digress. But no, Merlin was neither of those things. He was more Cardinal Richelieu than kindly teacher. A Machiavellian to be envied. Power. It was always about power. Power and influence. Merlin was a master manipulator. He could put on any face he needed to get what he wanted. He charmed anyone he had to, while pulling the strings in the background. He was... not a nice person. Driven and ambitious, yes. Short-tempered and prone to fits of rage, yes. But not nice. Definitely not kind. Professor, you know how it works. History is written by the winners. Merlin was very good at making himself a winner, even if the kingdom was crumbling around him. 
He kept meticulous records that documented his own perspective. He massaged the truth in any way he needed to. In the end, he had a huge hand in controlling the narrative, and that narrative continues today. He did what he intended, and that was cement his legacy as a kingmaker and guardian of the realm. The truth doesn't really matter anymore. I've told you before, nothing from that time was as it seems in the stories. Merlin was harsh. He was cruel at times. I steered well clear of him when I could. Do you know how many people he personally killed? It'd probably surprise you. It doesn't matter. The point is, you should know by now to not trust everything you read, and to not see the world in black and white. Simplifying things can make for a good story, a nice escape, but that's not how the world works, which I know is hard to get comfortable with. We prefer black and white. We want clear heroes and villains. That's why stories like that are so popular. Also, side note, did you know Cardinal Richelieu invented the table knife? I find that interesting. Wait. I'm sensing something. And just like that, break time is over. We need to go. Yes, we. I have a job and you're coming with me. Because it's what you wanted. Come on, you can bring your ice cream. What, my phone? What's the problem? Okay, something else I get to educate you on. Just because magic is a thing doesn't mean magic and technology can't play nice. I get a sense that something is wrong, and then I get alerted to specific issues through my phone. Same way I get alerted when my Uber Eats order's on the way. One more thing I can get salty at modern writers for. Why would a magic user be confined to quills and owls in a world with smartphones? Why would a world that has magic not be allowed to use the internet? Everything can exist in harmony. Everything in balance. And it's stupid not to think that I wouldn't use every tool at my disposal. We have a potential surge of dark energy to investigate, so we go. Scotland. Yeah, well, that's where the actual magic comes in. Come on, out here. Step over here. Out of sight of the road. There you go. Here, eat this real quick. You'll need the site where we're going. No, there are more permanent ways to give it to you, but I'm not ready to do that yet. Eat this, and let's go. Very good. Ready? Take my arm, and don't let go. There we are. Welcome to Scotland. Be sure to carry your own bags through customs, yada yada. Yeah, no, this way. Mm-hmm, over here. My report is that there are Kelpies making trouble. Not the dog breed, the water horse. The mythical one that goes after people, usually children. Actually, it's fine if they only do it some of the time. That's the balance again. They can take a certain number of humans, and I will leave them the hell alone. But it looks like there are a few who are getting a little too big for their metaphorical britches. Come on. Well, Professor, what do you know about Kelpies? This is a test, by the way. I already gave away the water horse thing. What else? Which bodies of water? Good. I don't think I know of any water in this country that doesn't have a Kelpie attached to it. Anything else? Backwards hooves, yeah. Not the easiest thing to see, unless you know to look for it. What about shape-shifting? Correct. They are very good at it. Usually they look like ordinary men when they do it, but there are some telltale signs. That's where the legends diverge from reality a bit. Fear of a Kelpie is normal. They are known for stealing children and riding back into the water with them. But the children they take aren't killed. That's the misconception. Well, yeah. Entrails are sometimes found on the land nearby, but those are put there as a decoy. The children are actually adopted. Kelpies get very lonely, you see. They want families of their own. So they take children and they leave evidence that the children were killed so the parents will stop looking. I'm not saying it's right or wrong, I'm just saying it happens. And they do kill sometimes, usually adults. They will kill you and eat you if we're not careful. Of course, we'll be careful. Come on, down here to the bank. We need to get the attention of the one who lives here. 
Show yourself, water beast. I'm not leaving until you do. Come on, you know why I'm here. Let's do this. There you are. Well met, Kelpie. Sorry to drag you from your pond. This one is of no consequence. An apprentice at best, not your concern. Focus your gaze on me. I'm told you and your brethren are getting a little greedy. Too many children are going missing. People are starting to panic. You know that upsets the balance. Come on, you're not that stupid. Fear, anger, hatred. These are things that grow and permeate. They take on a life of their own. You are painting this area with more darkness than it should have. Now you will stop. What do you mean? You know what happens if you don't. That's why I'm here. Be careful, Kelpie. You can't outrun my bow. Oh, you can try, but that would be very foolish. <sighs> Spare me from being mansplained to by a horse. Look, no more children for a while, and I mean a long while. Do you understand? Good. Come on, Professor. I think our work is done here. Have a nice nap, Kelpie. Thank you for your compliance. Come on, let's go. He's not happy with us right now. In fact... <sighs> Damn. I didn't want to have to do that. I knew he was going to, but I still didn't want it to happen. Stupid Kelpie. Oh no, he's very much dead. He tried to strike while my back was turned. That's never a smart move. I'm just frustrated. I prefer not to have to shed blood. Diplomacy is always the least messy option, at least for me. And really, was it asking too much to stop taking so many kids? I don't think so. No, it's fine. The others will come and take it away, and they'll get a good reminder of what happens when they try to make their own rules. They have to respect the balance. Everyone does. Human and non-human alike. Sorry about that, but it's over now. You ready to get out of here? Actually, come sit over here for a minute. Catch your breath. You look a little overwhelmed. I get it. You haven't seen a Kelpie before, let alone a dead one. It's probably a lot to process. Don't look at it. Just look here. Look at me. You're fine. Breathe in and out. Yeah, even the things that aren't entirely evil can find themselves led astray, and then bad things happen. But that's what I'm here for. I deal with it. What do you mean? Oh, him. Like, he was the local big bad or something? You think killing him will make everything here better from now on? Nope. That's not a thing. It's not remotely that simple. Trust me, it'd be easier if it were. Kill the boss and all the bad stuff just goes away? It doesn't work like that. Because evil isn't a singular being, or even a singular thing. The same way there isn't a singular good being. No one's all good or all bad. Not me, not you, not that Kelpie. There's evil in all of us, and we all have the potential to act on it and become our worst selves. But there's good in all of us, too. Good and evil don't control us. There's not some devil on one shoulder and angel on the other. Or worse, some demon in the background pulling strings and making these creatures act out in the wrong ways. Again, that would be easier. It's all already in us. We are the evil. And we are also the good. We are responsible for what we do, in either direction. No one controls us but ourselves. Sure, outside influences can push or pull us in various directions. If I have a bad day, I might feel like lashing out over it. The feelings are feelings, can't do much about those. But what matters is action. What do I do about it? Do I lash out? Do I give in to that evil impulse? Or do I choose another path? That's up to me. And up to all of us, even you. You're human. You know it's not always easy or fun to pick the path of goodness. We make so many choices throughout the day, most of them without thinking. How many of those are selfish, or thoughtless, or ignorant? And how much do we even care? I know, it's a lot. You didn't sign on for a philosophy lesson, but here we are. Now, are you feeling any better? 
Good. Keep breathing. We should probably get you home. So you can rest. You need sleep. So do I come to that. Oh, don't worry. I'll come back for you when it's time. But for now, I will take you home. You will sleep. And when you wake, you will feel better. Do you understand? I don't know. Am I compelling you? I guess we'll find out. Take my hand, Professor. I think this adventure is over for now. But don't worry. There's plenty more waiting up ahead on this path. Hey, sweetness. If you like what you hear, don't forget to click subscribe so you can hear more. Also, check me out over on Twitch. And if you want to support me, Patreon. Thanks for listening.